Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Open at Microsoft. Today I have Roberto Perez from uh, Redis Inc. joining me and he's going to talk a bit about geopositioning and how to use this um, for everyday applications. Um, so before we jump into geopositioning itself, uh, Roberto, could you talk a bit about the data modeling and the data structures um, for Redis? Yeah, definitely. It's very important that we that we talk about them because those are the building blocks that create or make Redis. Um, Redis data structures uh, use unique layouts and operations for storing and accessing data efficiently. That's very important, often in milliseconds or submilliseconds, even for enormous data sets. They are not as general purpose as database tables. That's, that's another comparison, that if, if we could say, uh, but can be more performant. They typically meter the most commonly used data structures in code. So it's important to know which ones are best suited for a particular use case. So as you can see, you know, we have different data structures, strings, lists, sets, sorted sets, hashes, streams. Today, we're going to be talking about geospatial. But each time that a problem uh, comes to you as an architect, as a developer, um, and you're trying to figure out um, you know, what, what to do, it's very important to sit down and think about which data structure is better or more suited for that particular use case. Right. So that's really, really great. Thank you for sharing all that information. So let's talk about you know geopositioning in a real world setting. Um, you talked a little bit about leveraging geopositioning for rideshare applications. Could you talk a bit more about that and perhaps even show us? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So the, the first thing you, you will see on the screen is different um, uh, commands that you you will normally use. They're very popular. Um, do you add that do we use to add a a source set or, or a geospatial data type? Geodisk will retrieve the distance between two members. Uh, GeoSearch will retrieve the locations by radius or by box. Um, and GeoPost will retrieve the position of one or more members in a geo set. Now all of the other data structure like string, list, um, those have a, 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 an actual um, data structure assigned. Um, it's, a, it's a good thing to mention that the geospatial uh, is going to use a source set behind it. So I just want to mention that um, so you guys know about it. And let me jump. Let's go ahead. I created a tutorial for everyone. Um, the link was, will be shared so everyone can can go ahead and, and follow and download in the most convenient time. Um, one of the prerequisites is uh, Redis Insight, and you will just download the tutorial, zip it, and upload it into Redis Insight. You can follow along. So pretty much um, when we, we think about or we talk about a rideshare application, um, we will see two components. We'll see the drivers, right? All the drivers that are, uh, you know, waiting for users to, to, to get a, a, a ride share, right? Um, it could be, you, you could have hundreds uh, of drivers in a particular region or, or, or a section, um, but just imagine uh, in, a, in, a, in a region or, or a, uh, maybe say the United States, maybe it could be thousands and thousands of drivers waiting, right? Um, the other piece of the application will be the actual user, I'll call it user, that is, you know, requesting for a driver. Um, so think about those uh, different applications. Now, if we talk about the driver side, the first thing we'll do is add those locations. So right. at any given point, uh, the application is going to be uploading those drivers' uh, coordinates, right? And uh, the geolocation, the um, longitude and latitude. And it will constantly be updating that information while the driver is, is driving around, right? So that's the first thing we're going we're gonna to do. We're going to uh, geo add. Uh, we're going to add three drivers into um, our. Uh, instance um we will see that here uh, I, I was mentioning that in behind the scene is a sorted set so we see here uh it's a sorted set we see the, the three drivers um next thing we'll do you know we can get the position and that's why we use geo pause um with geo pause 
the name of the key. This time is I call it drivers. And you can request one or you can request many. Uh, in this case, I'm asking driver one and driver two, give me give me that position, right? And it will give you the longitude and latitude of those um, drivers or those members inside the sorted set. Yeah. Um, Roberto, this is really great, but I just had one quick question. Um, is it possible to retrieve uh, locations for drivers by a specified radius? Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's my next one. Um, so you can so so you just imagine right that uh, that person that user um, when he's going and check hey uh, I need a ride share so that user application uh, one of the things it's gonna have to do is okay what are all the drivers around my location and that's what we we see here we use geo search drivers the keys um, and in this case we are doing from long and left. So we are giving a, a, a position, we say, in this case, will be the user. Uh, from this position, by radius, I'm doing, I want a 500 kilometer around me. Um, and I can I can specify with, with distance or with coordinate. And I can give, you know, different parameters, ascending, descending, uh, you name it. So in this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run both. And, the first one you'll see is I ask with coordinates and it gives me, you know, all the drivers are around me, are around that location, um, and it gives you the longitude and latitude of those drivers. Uh, the next one I was asking with distance and that you will use sort of like to say, okay, what's the closest to, to me, right? Um, and this one, driver one is very close. It's, it's point zero 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 one. Um, and you could think about okay, what's what's the the unit? What's the unit? What's point zero zero one? Well, if you specify kilometers when you are requesting that information, the output is gonna be in kilometers. So whatever unit you you specify, that's the unit that is gonna come out. Um, that's that's by radius. Um, you can also uh, find the drivers or the different. Um, uh, the, the, locations or distance between them. So for example, if you specify from member, so the, 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 pre was, the previous one was from long and lat. This time I'm saying from member. So in case, let's say that you have in the same sort of set for, for just to think about, you have drivers and let's say you have users and you add a user and you say, okay, give me the distance between user one and driver one. That's a, a, something that you could you could potentially do in the app. Um, you can specify, okay, from member driver one, give me by radius, um, and what's what's that uh, what what I have around me, and it's, it's gonna give you right now from driver one, the closest one is driver one. Um, another thing you can do in this case with it by radius around you, but you can also do by box uh, in case you need it. So the same thing, you use geo search. You use the drivers, the key from la long lat, that's the, the position or where, where you are located. And you say by box, you specify by box. In this case, it's gonna be a 400 by 400 kilometers, ascending with coordinates and with distance. Once I run that, I get the results. I see driver one is, as we, we saw before, right, it's 0 .00 kilometers. It gives you the, the longitude and latitude. Same thing with the other drivers that are closest to me in that box. Um, that's why they're, they're coming back because I'm, I'm specifying a 400 uh, kilometers box and those are around me. Gotcha. Um, security and privacy are always one big concern um, for people. So, you know, is there a way to be able to clear and delete all of this information? Yes, yes. Um, in case there, there are multiple ways that you can do that. Um, for example, um, one of, if you want to remove a member inside that source set, um, pretty much you use uh, ZRAM. And the reason is it's a source set, so that's why you use the ZRAM. Uh, you specify the key and then you specify the member that you want to delete. Um, now, if you want to delete the whole key, the whole the whole thing from it, you, there are two options, right? You have the del command, 
the Dell command will give you or will delete that key, but it will block. So usually we don't recommend that when you are running an application, let's say you have thousands and thousands right, of, of drivers or users inside that source set, you're going to delete, it's going to block that command until it deletes it. So it's potentially it's not going to be very, very performant because, you know, the application will have to wait and all that. Now there's another, a second uh, command that is on link. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually remove the the um, the whole key asynchronously, so it's not going to block. And then actually it's going to uh, uh, um, go ahead and uh, reclaim that memory space um, in, in the in the cluster. So that's that's uh, another way. Those are the two ways that you can do. Now, one thing I want to mention: uh, I, we went through all the commands. Uh, we saw, you know, how a, a, a potentially uh, a ride share app will work. Um, now, I just want to mention the actual geo positioning. How you see that um, in real time or or in a in an actual website? And I want to show this. Um, this last uh, site, uh, the link is going to be available for you. Is uh, This is a Brutus. This is a demo that we have. <clears throat> now, a caveat is on the back end is using what we call Ready Search, and that comes with the enterprise uh, grade of, of our you know um, solutions. Uh, but I just want to show how it will look in, in the map. So this is something that you will you would see in the map. Once you uh, select the position, you, you grab that position of the drivers, then you can map it. You can use that long lat and actually position it and put it inside your your map. So that is, that's really cool. Um, of course, I mentioned Ready Search is for more advanced. This is using, you know, uh, real-time inventory, this demo. So there's a lot of uh, cool features in here, but it's the same concept uh, of uh, applying that positioning with the sorter set in the map. Awesome, thank you, Roberto, for sharing this amazing, you know, everyday use case that, you know, everyone can really relate to. Um, once again, if you guys would like to learn more about Redis Inc. or Azure Cache Redis, please check out the links below, and the links below will also contain the lab that Roberto did share. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we hope you all have a good day.